Hi, today I'm going to talk about my training routine, what I do. I train roughly, let's see, one, two, uh, there's three, there's four, there's five. There's five days a week. There's five days a week, and uh, three of them are dedicated to the core lifts, which for me are a squat movement, a bench press movement, and a deadlift movement. Uh, Mondays, I'm oh, sorry, not Mondays, but day one, it's usually a type of squat movement, such as a safety squat bar movement, a cambered bar, or a bow bar. And I can use bands or chains or straight weight. I usually do speed every other week. And I do speed for two to three reps, six sets of two to three reps. And I do maximum effort every other week. And I do that for one to three reps, depending on how I feel. Now, there are some times that I will substitute speed for what I call a rep day. And a rep day can be anything greater than three reps, but it's not super heavy weight for me. The bench press day, day three. On the bench press day, I'll do a bench press movement that mimics the bench press in a certain rank and a range. Four presses to help my mid range, uh, rack work to help my upper part of my bench press, um, regular bench press. Now, when I do regular bench press, I don't do it for max effort. I'll do it for what I call reps, and my goal is three to five reps, and that's what I'll usually shoot for. Slingshot bench press. When I do slingshot bench presses, it's mostly for reps. I don't like, I do not like to use the slingshot for singles. And if you're not familiar with the slingshot, it, what it is is a device that you put on. It connects right here, connects right here, has a uh, cover, goes across here. Then what it does is helps you in the bottom portion of the bench press throughout lockout. I'll include. Uh, description in the bot in the comment section below the URL where you can purchase one. I use the uh, Mark Bell and Sean if you're curious. Deadlift. Deadlift, I do that on day five and I like to choose a deadlift movement that works hell deadlift and with the range. One is block. I'll do that one week. Next thing I'll do is I'll do back. Then I will do a good morning which, if you're not familiar with good morning, it's basically just bending a bar on your back, bending that back up. Or I will do speed off the floor. You notice you didn't see any head lifts off the floor. I choose that because deadlifts really do take a lot out of me. And I like to use those. I only like to do it off the floor if I'm going to just go for a max. Other than that, I like to just do range different ranges of motion. My reps for deadlift, most of the time it's one. It's one. Assistance for the deadlift, such as stiff like deadlifts, it'll be five. You know, I have reverse hypers and so forth. Those exercises will have higher reps along with lats. The day six, upper body. Now what upper body deals with is, upper body is just gonna be anything I wanna train, shoulders, chest, triceps. Uh, it's not gonna be super heavy. It's gonna be more of a volume type workout. Um, day seven, I can either start over with day one Again, take another day, work on some weak points, or just take a day off. Now, the way I design my routine is, even though I say this is day one, day one can actually happen on day two. Day three can happen on day four. And day five can actually happen on day six. Depending on how the work week's going, uh, depending on how I feel, if I'm recovered or not, because I base everything off recovery. If I really feel like I can, I can really go for it, then yeah, it's time to train. I'm chasing performance. I'm not chasing frequency of working out. Frequency is nice, but to me, I prefer performance. So that's why my training is very flexible. Like I said before, it's a conjugate type training method, but it's not West Side. Um, the things that make it not West Side is West Side does speed squats every week. Um, they don't necessarily squat every week. I squat, I squat every week, I deadlift every week, but the way my routine is designed, it allows me to do that. I'm only really squatting heavy twice a month. I'm only really deadlifting a deadlift movement twice a month. Sometimes it's only three times a month that I'm doing a uh, heavy squat, heavy deadlift. I'm bench, bench pressing th heavy three times a month, sometimes two times a month, depending on how I feel and so forth. So this is a little bit of how my program is working right now for the month of July. It could change. It most likely will change in August, depending on what I'm doing. 
And next year, of course, it will change. It might be, I might end up only doing maximum effort once a month. It just depends. I have to take in consideration family responsibilities, work responsibilities, and recovery. So this is what I'm doing. If you have any questions, concerns, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer.